hello this is Laura Middleton from Silvery Threads and I'm going to be showing you how I do my process of continuous strap connectors I'm making triangle pouches and I've got 30 to do so what I do is I take cork vinyl whatever I'm using today I'm using cork I cut three quarter inch straps because my hardware I want to attach it to is three quarter inches okay so what I do is I take a long string and I top stitch both sides that way when I fold it over it looks really nice on both sides of my material so I've got that done and what I do is to make it easier on me and it goes faster well, let me cut that salvage edge off real quick. Is I cut, I line them up. And I just put about, usually put all, about 10 to a strip that's cut along the salvage edge. I do about 10 at a time. There's five. See, they just slide on really, really nice. And it just makes... It just makes this process just a little bit easier to do. I'm sewing these on my faff. It is an expression. It's 150th anniversary. And I'm just using Guterman thread. Silver, of course. And I'm doing a top stitch of 4.0. I think it looks really, really nice uh, with the cork. This is the style I like. So how I do this is when I get them all on the string, okay? I fold it over about an inch. Let's, let me measure this. About an inch and a half. Because you're going to sew right underneath here. And then this part is going to go inside of my triangle pouches. You're not going to see this. And this way I know I can do this without hitting any hardware. So I just line it up. I put my foot down on there cut it and then I'm going and I go back and forth twice I just like to and we're gonna keep going about an inch and a half doesn't have to be precise just as long as you've got at least a half an inch on the bottom you're gonna be able to keep going and you just slide up the next one and then you just keep going and before you know it you've got a bunch made and if everybody's got their own little process that they do but this is how I do mine and I find it for myself that it just goes faster and and it does before you know it you've got a lot of them whipped out and don't have to do no folding this way and you don't have to do no folding that way you just cut your strip and for wristlets and uh, small buy for small wallets and triangle pouches or um, triangle pouches or ID pouches, this is how I do mine. And I just like this process a whole lot easier. I don't change my thread out very ra very rarely. Yeah, I change my thread out. Um, known for silvery stitches, so why change it out, right? Okay, like I said, I just put it underneath there. I line the foot with the bottom of my hardware piece, which is right here. Make sure that the top is lined up with the bottom. And just go, because you don't even really need your hands because it's going to, um, it makes a guide for itself, basically. And this strip that I cut, which was along the salvage of the cork, done those 10, and it done 11. So, we'll do this 11th one real quick. It's a little long, but why waste? Put it under there, and it just guides it right by itself. And when you're done, just cut it, your things off. Set it to the side. You got a bunch of little strap connectors all the way done. 
And that's exactly, well, I'm going to trim my threads off, of course, when I get done using them. But these black ones here, this is how I've done it. Um, it's just vinyl, silver thread. I've done it the same process. I cut this along the selvage too, so that way it doesn't stretch. And I done these 30 after I got done cut, and I done these 30 in less than 15, 20 minutes. And you just seen how fast these was. I did four, eight, nine. Okay, so I did nine, and I just did these in less than five. So that's how I do my uh, strap connectors when I'm doing um, little pouches of any sort. I don't like doing the D-rings and then having to add on. That just keeps the cost down. If we keep our cost down, then we can keep our cost down for our customers. So I just like using these little D-ring swivel hooks. Um, I buy these on Amazon. You get 100 of them for $5.99 at 3 quarter of an inch. And um, I can post, uh, I think that price is right. I'll double check and I'll post the link to where I get them. In the comments below so i hope you enjoyed this and have fun making your crossbody straps i've got five more to do have a good one bye bye